everybody, this is the Multi-Mom Candace Craft, and I was wondering if you've heard of this app called BitStrips. Uh, they have it for iPhone, Android phone, and Facebook, but they don't have it for Windows phone yet. I use Windows phone, so that's how I know that, that it's still not available for Windows phone. Um, anyway, when you first come on here, uh, I have it through Facebook. Anyway, when you first get on here, um, you can create your character. And, you know, all I have right now is to edit it, so I'll show you what it looks like when you create it, though. Because these are the things they have available. A different jaw shape, face shape, hairstyle, hair length, hair type, eye shape, pupils, eyelashes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, ears, face details, things for your head, body type, clothes, and so on and so forth, and accessories. And then... You can mess with the face details. You can, let's see. I don't want to change my character, but I'll try to show you some different things. Like hair type. Mine's on wavy, but you can pick different hairstyles. La, 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 la. I think that's the one I had. And then for, I'm not going to mess with the eyes, but I'll mess with the nose because I remember which nose I had. You can change the look of your nose. You can even like turn it around and see what it looks like from the side. And then go down. There's more noses. Anyway, I think I had the second one picked. And then there's like the forehead or the face details, forehead lines, eye details. Blush, eyeshadow, lipstick, earrings. Some of these de details and some of these options are not available when you first create your avatar. But then you can go and fine tune it and then everything will be available. Like if I wanted earrings, they wouldn't show up right now because of the kind of hair I have. But then you could go in and change the colors like if you wanted silver earrings or if you wanted to create your own special color of earrings. Same thing with the clothes. You pick your outfit, and then you can pick the color of the outfit, and then they even have where you can just like pick the design of the outfit and then change the colors and stuff. And when you create your comic, you can either make a status comic, which is a comic with just you, like, let's see, where's a funny one? Here we go. Candace found breakfast. And then when you do this, you can also edit your facial expressions like by clicking one of these or you can customize it and fine tune the details you can click on the little lock and it'll just let you adjust one eyebrow or click you can change both of the eyes or click on the lock and just change one eye you can also let me make them the same for this. You can adjust the size of the pupils. You can change the eyelids. Um, you can stick out your, well, you can't see it on here, but you can stick out your tongue or not, or you can change the position of your mouth if it's closed, just teeth, slightly open, or a wide mouth. And then with the body, you can adjust the position of your body. Or the position of your head or you can even click on your head and rotate it back and forth same thing with your body parts and click on your arm and change the position of that or your legs if they're showing and then you can change the rotation of your left and right hand and the shape of what you're doing like thumbs up or okay, or you know, like pointing. Where's the pointer finger? Right there. So these are completely customizable. You can also edit the text of the comic. Like if you want to just, well, for now, I, I can only type with one hand, so I'm just put a bunch of jibber jabber. And then you can create the little boxes, like a thinking box or a speaking box or exclamations. Once again, put some jibber jabber. You can move that, 
move the tail. And the same thing goes with a friend comic. I have, well, ignore my friends. Here's my husband. Don't ignore my friends, but like, you know, ignore my friends. Here's um, a funny one where it says, Candace just found a perfectly good motorcycle. I'm like, huh, ah, motorcycle. And Adam's on the ground. Um, same thing, you can change each person on here. And then you can give them each their own talking boxes or thinking boxes or whatever. And then there's the greeting cards where you can make one for somebody. And send that, that to them. Um, let's see. Candace finds Adam to be irresistible. Then you can send that just like you would the regular comics. But... I'll show you what happens when you're done. I'm just going to leave mine the way it is on here and then share that. And then it saves and uploads the comic. And you can either continue and make some more or you can view your comic, see what it looks like, edit things. Like I want to make this friends because there are a lot of comics that I want to be friends only. And here's some that I already made that I'm going to be putting on my multi-mom Facebook page. Here's a, here's one I customized. It was like holding a bag of chips and looking happy, but I said after a long busy day like today, Candace just wants to lay down and relax. And Candace thinks your Facebook post, posts are so insightful. This is Candace's jam. Um, here's one I made when my daughter was wanting to play and I was trying to get some sleep. It says it's time for bed but all Tristy wants to do is play around. Candace and Adam go together like ants and picnics. Candace and Tristy are two peas in a pod. Another day, another dollar. I posted that when I got off work. <laughs> Adam is unimpressed with Tristy's headstand. That one's pretty funny. Adam hates when Candace drives. This is one we made as a joke because I don't have a license and I can't drive and I always joke about driving and that's the ones I'm going to be sharing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy bit strips. I just wanted you guys to know that I do support it. I think it's pretty funny. And it's free. So, um, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching. Bye.